What's going on guys, Shane here. Today we're gonna do a home plyometric workout that you can follow along to. It's gonna develop speed and power for fighters. It's gonna be in Tabata drill format, meaning we're working for 20 seconds, resting for 10, and then going right back into our exercises for eight sets. We're gonna do plyo burpees, squat jacks, and Hindu push-ups. I will be sharing modifications too for if you get tired or if these are too challenging for you. Now I want you to get through this four minute workout and then do it again two more times for a total of three sets. So make sure you limber up first, get that dynamic warm up in from head to toe. And like I said, this exercise is gonna help with that explosive speed and power in your punches and your kicks, and even help with your sprawls to defend against takedowns, throwing knees, and everything else. Quick reminder that the Mitwork Certification online course is now available, so if you're interested in starting a career as a boxing coach click that link right there make money doing what you love all right let's get this workout started so we're gonna do plyo push-ups drop down and do a clap push-up work on those fast twitch muscle fibers we're gonna jump up and do a high knee jump okay and then repeat modified version is just do single legs with a jump at the top no push-up 20 seconds flies by so make sure you get in as many reps as possible if you have to modify if you have to go down to your knees to do the push-up that's fine too but I want you to explode when you're doing these movements, 100%. All right, 20 seconds is up, so we're gonna rest. Catch your breath, it's gonna go by quick. We only got 10 seconds. Get ready for the next set, where we're doing squat jacks. Doing a squat, and then your feet are coming together at the top, tapping together, back out, you're moving nice and quick. This is working your agility. It's gonna help your footwork, but also work the legs. Modified version is just regular squats, all right? Sitting all the way down, you wanna go past that 90 degree bend in your knees. Really develop those legs, keep your back straight. And straight doesn't mean perpendicular with the ground, just don't arch your back, rest, good. Another 10 second rest. Like I said, it's gonna go by quick, catch your breath. Should be starting to feel it in your legs now. We're gonna start working the upper body and the back again with Hindu push-ups, all right? Butts up in the air, you're gonna dive your head down as if you're going underneath of a pole and then scooping your back up, looking up at the sky. Modified version is don't bend your arms. Hips go down, hips come up, all right? It's still gonna develop those back muscles, but if you wanna get a harder workout, work in those triceps especially, bend those arms as you dive down and extend as you come up and rest. Good guys, bring it up, catch your breath. Try to lower your heart rate as much as possible. Stay nice and calm. Imagine this is in between rounds and you're trying to recover. Here we go, ready? Plyo push-ups, drop down with the clap push-up, explode, bring the hips in quick, bring those knees up high as you jump, land soft on your toes, right back down into your clap push-up. Working hard here, guys. I know your arms are burning, I know you're feeling it in your legs and your hips, but just remember that's a sign that we're getting stronger. We're working hard, we're developing these muscles so we can improve our speed and our power. Three, two, one, and rest. Good, guys, breathe. Nice and calm, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Three seconds, and then we're going into our squat jacks. Begin, dropping down nice and low. Feet touch together at the top, and then you're right back down. Nice and quick, too, like I said, agile. If you wanna move around that ring quick, then you gotta do it right here, right now in your workout. All right, if you have to modify and just do regular squats, that's fine, just keep moving for these 20 seconds. We have about six seconds left, all right? Keep pushing, got this, got this. Stay strong, three, two, one, and rest, good. Breathing for about 10 seconds, nice and calm, nice and relaxed, and then we're gonna go back into our Hindu push-ups. So if you wanna get in position now, dropping down, butt up in the air, and begin. Nice smooth motion, but you're really gonna feel these in your lats, in your triceps, in your shoulders, even your forearms. Great upper body workout here, one of my favorites. Keep pushing for about 10 more seconds. We're almost there, we're halfway through. Keep fighting through the burn, guys, you got this. If you have to modify, keep your arms straight, hips down, hips up. Three, two, one, and stand it up and rest. Catch your breath. Doing great, we're almost done with the first set. All right, keep breathing, nice and calm. Relax the muscles in your face and in your body. Deep breaths, and here we go, plyo burpees. Right back down, clap push up, explode in, big jump with the high knees. Right back down, you clap push up. Throwing the weight around, extending your arms fast, just like you're throwing a punch. Bringing those knees up high like you're throwing a flying knee. Come on guys, 100%, 100%, keep going. Everything you got now, we're almost done. Give me a couple more reps, come on, get stronger. Right here, right now, push it, two, one, and rest. Good, guys, good. Breathing, breathing. Only got one more exercise before we get a full two minute, three minute rest, whatever you need, all right? Here we go with our squat jacks. Finish strong on these, nice and quick, all the way down into your squats, sitting that butt all the way down, keeping the back straight, but agile with your movements, in and out. Come on, guys, grind it out, grind it out, almost there. Got about 10 seconds left to go, and then we'll get a full rest. Earn it, empty out that tank, come on. You're tired, but you're not done. Keep pushing, keep pushing, go, go, go. In and out, three, two, one, and rest. Good, guys. So give yourself two, three minutes, whatever you need, and then I want you to do two more full sets of that. And you can incorporate shadow boxing or bag work, 
or mitt work. Like I said earlier, the mitt work certification online course is now available. Get yourself a pair of gloves, mitts, hand wraps, and learn how to hold mitts and pick up clients so that you can make money doing what you love. All right, links right there in the middle. Please subscribe if you haven't already. At the top, on the left is my Twitter. On the right are my daily Instagram workouts. And on the top left, it says Combo of the Day is a new series. Follow me on Snapchat. Different combos, and we're sharing new ones with you every single day. Until next time, I'm Shane with Fight Tips. Self-defense for the underdogs.